So what's going on all you revolutionaries? It's Relentless here and today we have a very special build for you. As you can see the mad scientists behind me are doing their vigorous research uh, and testing uh, both in PvP and PvE scenarios. They're implementing all that data into the computer, simulating it, finding out every possible reasons why this build absolutely works and they have sent out not only me but other agents into testing this gear set uh, but without further ado let's hop right into it i dubbed it the immortal now let me explain as you can see we have four piece well actually three pieces of nomad and one ninja bag mm -hmm. messenger bag as we all know, the talents are 15% health on a kill. The Nomad's Resolve grants a constant small amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of health bar during combat. The fourth, when receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health, can occur once every four minutes. And then we have one Alpha Bridge combined with the Ninja Bag, and that makes two alpha bridge which is a hundred percent health regen and then we go on to the holster which is a steadfast holster with health regeneration kicks in twice as fast while in cover now if you combined all these different elements the constant slow heal the the 15 percent health on a kill and then you have the 100 percent health regen and then your health regen kicks in twice as fast when you're in cover if you combine all that with a med station and let's say you're having to fight from cover in a uh incursion scenario then you're going to get your heals back and, and your health back pull extremely extremely fast and i will demonstrate that here in a moment but let's go over the stats of the gear almost perfect armor roll for the vest of the nomad uh 1259 and firearms with enemy armor damage health and increased kill xp i'd rather have ammo capacity here uh, but beggars can't be choosers and then i have firearms skill haste and another firearms skill haste mod and then moving on to the mask, we have 1256 in electronics, 9156 in skill power and burn resistance. And then we have a firearms skill haste mod. Moving on to the knee pads, we have a decent armor roll, good firearms roll with another 1627 in help. With disorient resistance, bleed uh, resistance, and increased kill XP, I prefer flame resistance in there and shock resistance. That would be my ideal uh, knee pads and the minor attributes and moving on we have 264 firearms uh, with skill haste and a first aid self heal now moving on to the ninja bike messenger bag good armor roll great firearms roll 12 8 16 in health 55 percent ammo capacity with 261 firearms and skill haste and two more first aid self heals Moving on to the gloves, enemy armor damage, crit hit chance, assault rifle damage, and 1271 in firearms. And I wish the armor roll on these gloves a little bit higher, but these will do. It's decent. It's at least above 900. It's at 923. And then the holster, 1233, 1264, and 1248 main stats. Good main stats across the board. Good armor roll at 1,000. And we have 7% skill haste with another first aid self heal. Got on the weapons. No surprise here, we have the Lightweight M4, 21.7k base with Brutal, Focused, and Fierce. Um, all the trifectas on all the mods, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Uh, and then we went with the Rate of Fire. You don't necessarily have to go with the Rate of Fire on the M4, um, but I have a 12.5% stability mod, so that kind of helps out. But you can go with extra crit damage there if you'd like. On the Large Optics, crit hit chance, headshot damage. Create damage, 2.5% stability, create chance, create damage, optimal range, and stability. Now moving on to the MP5. Uh, fierce, deadly, and vicious. Create chance, rate of fire, create ch chance, create damage, headshot damage on the small optics and the muzzle. Create damage, headshot damage, create chance. And the underbarrel, create damage, accuracy, and reload speed. So basically, when taking damage, you can duck into cover, you know, drop your med station, and you're good to go. Um, you don't necessarily have to have skill haste. Normally, I roll everything onto skill power and said uh, firearms, 
But in this particular case, you know, we're going to have a mediocre heal, but I'll get be able to get those heals back much faster. And if, even if need be, mm -hmm. I can pull out the pistol and just pop a couple NPCs in the head, not necessarily killing them, and then receive 5% uh, cooldown on my skills. Let's go on to the character sheet. That would be the wrong one. 47.5% crit hit chance, 92% crit hit damage, 13% damage to elites, 22% skill haste, survivability, max health pool 195k, and 32.61 armor. My health regeneration is 19,592, which accumulates to uh, basically what exactly what it says, 19,592 per second when your regeneration is active. So I'm going to let these mad scientists get back to work. Thank you so much, uh, mad scientists back there, Dr. Dude, uh, for all your work. Keep it up, and I'm going to take these guys out and demonstrate this. I'm going to take a lot of damage. Spook them a little bit. Hey, you. Leave that lady alone. Deal with me. Yeah, that's right. I'm here. You want some? You want some? Come get some. I dare you. Come on. Is that the best you can do? Come on. You can do better than that. See, I'm going to flex on you. Okay. I'm going to pop in the cover. I'm going to pop this. And see how fast my health is just like completely going up. And I have crappy skill power. Yeah, I'll step out here, get some more. Yeah, I'll pistol whip you here. Want some of this? Uh huh. Shoot me! Shoot me! What you gonna do? Don't run from me! Don't be scared! Don't oh, you gonna smack me back? I see how it is. Take that. I sit there and pistol whip both of you. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You're the man. You're the man. And then I'm gonna pop right back here. And see, it starts kicking in, and within just a matter of one split second, even after that's gone, I'm still under cover. And I'm getting back full heal. And just imagine if you're in an incursion, and I know multiple of you, uh, you now use the mod stations as far as for health. So it, all you have to do is uh, out of med kits, as you can see on my screen, could not pop a med kit if I wanted to. And all I gotta do is sit there and just pop into cover, and I'm refilling my ammo back and forth. This dude just wants to keep getting pistol whipped. Come on, want some? Want some? Oh, you want to smack me? Okay. Okay, you the man. You the man. I feel you. You want some more? You want some more? See, you could take me down because that was a four-piece nomad that kicked me. Okay. Okay, let me get back here. Yep, I'm gonna take some more damage. There you go. Give me some more. Is that all you got? Got, and I'll pop right back here and get my health back. I can do this literally all day. Just go up here, smack him around, take some damage, and then wherever I see fit, just find some cover. And just watch the health bar just continue to speed up that fast. And then if you just want to finish them off, you do significant enough damage to do that. But anyways, this is the immortal build. Uh, I'd say try it out. It doesn't have to be these specific pieces in this specific order. Um, I just rolled everything as I do always. Um, four pieces to firearms, one piece into electronics, which is the mass with skill power on it. And as you can see, the steadfast holster, ninja bike bag, one alpha bridge, no matter where it's at, and then a three nomad. Um, if you don't want the four piece nomad, as far as, you know, if you're getting that fatal blow, then it instantly refills your health. Then you can take off one of these nomads and put another alpha bridge in, and that way you get a plus five. Uh, percent and bonus damage to all your weapons but anyways this is your boy relentless i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos and if there's anything you'd like to see any challenges you'd like to see performed in the dark zone let me know and we'll see you guys fudging later